little bit of everything. I'm Melissa Thalia, and today I'll be showing you how to do a cream cheese banana pudding. So for ingredients, we're going to need two Pepper Ridge Farm chessmen cookies. We're going to need a vanilla jello, and this will be five ounces. 14 ounce sweet condensed milk. Eight ounce cream cheese. Two cups of milk. Six to eight bananas sliced and to your choice, Cool Whip or Ready Whip, 13 ounces. Stay tuned. So to start off with, we're gonna need a 13 by nine by two inch dish. And we're gonna line this up with one bag of the cookies. You're going to take this and line these up um, if you want to line them like this it'll be fine that way you can have to design both on top and at the bottom so not only will you have a delicious cream cheese banana pudding but you will have a beautiful delicate dessert it's perfect for Christmas parties birthday parties all that you can think of next thing you're going to do is layer Layer the bottom with bananas. This is where you're gonna put all your bananas. So you just start spraying them all over and then just kind of cover the cookies. You wanna cover the cookies. We're going to set the bananas aside. So the next thing we're going to do is that we're going to combine in a big bowl milk and two cups of milk. And the jello. Now using a handheld electric mixer, mix this well. I use a plate just so it won't be a messy. So we're gonna set this aside and then we're gonna get another bowl and have soft cheese cream. I put that in the microwave a little bit so that way it'll be softened. And then we're gonna add in the sweet condensed milk to it. And what you're gonna do next is mix the cheese cream with the condensed milk. The next thing, the next step is to add the cream cheese condensed milk mixture to the jello. Once you've added the sweet condensed milk and cream cheese to the jello mixture, you're going to go ahead and add the whipped cream to it. Spray it all until it's all gone. Then you can go ahead and mix everything again. We're going to go ahead and bring the bananas in again with the cookies. And we're gonna pour this mixture on top of it. I'm going to go ahead and spread it evenly. We're going to go ahead and add the cookies to top it off. There you have it. It's ready to be put in the refrigerator until it's ready. So cover it up and just let it sit there for a couple of hours. Well, now that it's been two hours, I'm going to go ahead and actually cut a slice to see if it's ready. And 
And by the looks of it, it is ready. delicious cream cheese banana pudding. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Mm.